My brain is not functioning, I've just got what I was going to say. Hello everyone and welcome back to Backbone. Uh, taking off where we were last time, we've just made it into the bite. Um, little club, I think we're going to speak to some people. We're trying to find Jeremy Green, looking for an otter. So everyone keep their eyes peeled, I'm probably going to miss him, but let's try not to. Um, jazz, alcohol, beautiful cocaine ladies. That says canine. That, oh my gosh. Okay, well that says, um, beautiful canine ladies. A little too high end for my taste. This is kind of a high end club. Renee. Well, you're unusual. Is she, um, because on the cover there's like three people. There's, um, Howie, there's a polar bear and there's a fox person. Is this that person? Um, I'll take it as a compliment. As you will, though it was just an observation. And Renee Wilson. Uh. Hmm. I'll stick with Wallace, just in case. Hmm, that's a fake name. Not too young for a Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. You wouldn't have said that no matter what name I gave. Quick. You're a wit? Is it like you're witty? Is that a fake card? To what end, I wonder? Ray Wilson is a mask. You wear it well, but your true persona is slipping through the cracks. The intrigue. What am I running away from? Sorry, I can't read. The intrigue. What am I running away from? Yourself. Be deep and mysterious. I can't decide if that's deep or tragic. I'm gonna keep the card. By all means, if I, if you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. An investigative journalist. How's that gig? It's a living, usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? Wait, she didn't respond. Maybe she just didn't want to. Well, Colby. What people to speak to? Hey there. You here for Ian Smith? Blah, 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 blah. You're here for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. I haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound, though. I'll make conversation. Well, probably a bit based, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. You've been here before? <laughs> nah. My mom doesn't approve of the place had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Good music. Sounds like it was worth it. Ha! <laughs> well, you can only be sure if you stay with the whole show. I wish I could stay. Have you seen an art of gentleman here tonight? Here's a photo. Let me think. I saw someone like that walk in. Did you see where he went? He went up to the lady in the jade-colored dress and went upstairs. J Lady in the Jade Cut. Was that the person we just spoke to? Um. Was it that green? Oh, yes, and it was his tie. I thought it was funny. Thanks, enjoy the show. I don't want to ask it too many questions. That's where you go wrong. Jade colored dress. Ooh! Okay. Uh, I'll talk to everyone else. Um, I think the polar bear lady is somebody. Um of importance because she's on the um come on brain work she's on the home screen so i'm gonna talk to everyone else first and then see if there's any information i can squeeze out of people isn't this too dreamy um listen i'm looking for somebody god i love this music i don't i'm gonna get in the mood uh wanna dance with me hmm? no sorry can I give the guys a couple questions? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother. Have you? Oh, well, I. We're already messed that one up. Ingrid. Even Sugar, enjoying yourself? In here? How can I not be? Not yet. My friend's late. I'm worried about him. How touching. The irregular? Jeremy? He's usually here like clockwork. See, I know this is a game, I know this is all written ahead, but some of these things are so smooth that I couldn't even dream of just saying them off the bat. Um, 
Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? Oh, for drinks. You could try asking the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. Bloodworth, is she the manager? The owner, she, she would know. She always does. What's she like? She's by the bar. Go ask yourself. Thank you for your time, Miss. Call me Ingrid, Mr... Uh... Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I'm just gonna goodbye. Okay, I'm not gonna um talk to her just yet. I'm gonna act what's this? I don't like how she's just staring at me, that kind of putting me off a bit. Design's really cool though. She looks really cool. Oh, you let you can just look at the whole bar. Woman in the jade I'm pretty sure Renee's a woman's name. Um How do you like, oh, you just press a button. So that's Clarissa. Guy. Oh, door. I don't want to. I'm not pushing my luck if um. Uh, if there's a guy there, I'm gonna go speak to Renee again. Cause that is a J dress. Want another card? No, she's not gonna give. She did say J dress. Is Jade more of a light green? Maybe I'm getting confused. And maybe I just need to go talk to the lady. Because I can't talk to the bartender. That's not an option. I'm just going to talk to Clarissa. Oh, is it not going to let me? There we go. You look a little lost. Is it that obvious? Although he's kind of hunched over as well and she's kind of sat up all elegantly. It makes me very aware of my own posture. I gave it away. It's not my usual scene. What brings you tonight? You're not a maker, are you? Nope. Just trying something new to the tones. How's it working out for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. The feeling's mutual. So what do I owe the pleasure? Um, Wallace, nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. And what do you do for a living, Wallace? I work at publish, publishing house. Do you read much? Nothing specific. Just gigs here and there. I'm a photographer, private stuff mostly. I'll go this one because this seems more. Um. Ver ver See, I might have said vicariously, but verrocchiously? As for me, the name's Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Oh. Well, let me. If I had known, I would have been more mindful of my manners. No need to stand on the ceremony with me, darling. As you say, do you have any specialities here? Folks that say you're chef specialist to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? I was looking for another gentleman by the name of Okay, I mm no. Um I was looking for another I was looking for an otter gentleman by the name of Jeremy Green. Do you know him? And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink. Yeah, I've got a lot of catching up to do. Darling, I think you're lying to me. What? Uh I don't like it. Why would I be lying with co-workers? No, I think um, we're not co-workers because he works at a... Oh, he works at a bank. Why would I lie? Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you and it's clearly not an appropriate establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Oh, come on. I don't understand. What have I done? Sorry, darling, that's not how the world works. Sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you. Perhaps we'll be seeing each other again. Have a great night. We say so. Goodbye, Clarissa. <laughs> In and gone so soon. Hmm. New objective. Finally back into the bite. Okay. Um, Clarissa Bloodworth. What's her deal? I need to find another way in. Alright. Um... I guess I will go back and talk to Larry because he was kind of, um, he was how I got in beforehand so I feel like it might work. Um, what was, oh, is this her? Oh, it's a truck. Is this hers? I'm going to speak to her first. What are you looking at? What, are you alright? Fine. What's it to you anyways? I love it. I do like it when they have like a written accent, but I do find it really hard to read sometimes. 
Um, you, you don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Tell them, fine, get lost. You work at the bite? Piss off. What kind of game are you playing now? I told you I'm not leaving till I get it back. Are you looking for someone? Heh, <laughs> right. Make like you don't know, not fooling me, no sir, I'm on to you. And I'm not from I'm not moving from the spot till you let me talk to my daughter. Looking for your daughter? I'm no fool, I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not they won't let me see her. I think this woman might be on uh something. I forgot what the names of the drugs were, the only one I can remember is Monkey Butt. Um I'm no fool, I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. Listen, I mean... Listen, I mean, you know why I'm just going to use some help. Well, maybe I could. If you're, if, if you're really not... Listen, maybe we could help each other. How? I need to find a way into that building, can you help me? Maybe, I mean, not really. Try the code of the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me I just want to talk to her. What happened to your daughter? She's a, she's not filthy, and I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? Kid decided she's gonna make it all on her own. Lands herself in a workhouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her, I know it. They probably won't let me see her. Her own mother, my poor baby. Oh dear. Keep an eye out for if I get him. What does she look like? Grey fur. Name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. I hit a single whisker on my baby's face. I swear I'm gonna burn this hive to the ground. That's an interesting way to describe it. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. You haven't told her, I'm sure. Um. Do you know any other way in? No, I've heard voice up on the roof. But how'd you get that? Okay, so roof access. Uh, codes? I memorize it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Um, alright, thank you for helping me out. I better go and look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, tell her I need to see her, please. I want to see if I can get in this van. Uh, Darling Cider. Oh, like the bird. Let's break in because uh, we're just doing all these things. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There is a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. I'm going to do compartment first. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Go through newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading them though. Headlines. September 22nd. Emma Debit continues. Epidemic continues. Geezers may be spreading disease. Is that geese? Geezers is geese up here. I'm wondering if that's a term for geese. It's like kind of like a bird flu. Whoa. Um, October 9th. Vicious attack. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. So there's some kind of almost like, um, uh, is it, it's, I'm assuming it's similar to the Berlin Wall, um, that's what's making me think of, but I don't know what the wall is, I'm assuming it's to like, um, where the map we kind of saw ended. Uh, look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bike Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Try to use device. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set out for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Select the dates from the invoices in the newspapers. So this is the one from the news. So we've got the September 22nd, October 9th, and today's date, which whatever that is, it's sometime. I think it's October 24th. Um, got three packages for you. Geese damn you, I can't fit that. Geese damn you, I can't fit that many. We were expecting you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. So it doesn't tell us who's specifically speaking. Uh, October 9th, we have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can put in the truck. Four hours late, leave me alone. Uh, 
leave oh leave the truck do i get to take those with me so i can't take those with me no that's a shame okay it's, i'm not just missing them am i um nope okay right i'll talk to larry again um Wait, if I try the thing, can I get in? Uh, where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Great fire down me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. This is a prank. Get out. I guess that was wrong. Oh, so that's not the correct, um... That's not the correct one. What? Can I do it again? It's always late. So it's not that one. Damn, I got so apes. Sorry, can you buzz? It might be the ape one because, um, but I'm gonna, I wanna speak. Oh, whoops. I wanna, um, whatever. We got one package today. Good, let me in. Get out. I'm calling. Oh, whoopsie. So it was the ape one. Okay. See, I remember things. I want to speak to Larry again. Um, that's... I don't know why I pressed the letter L. How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, how would you manage that? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. That's what I figured. How do I get back in? Now hold up, you said you didn't get in a case like this anymore. And you told me you had no first hand experience with monkey butt. Ooh! Doesn't matter, I need to get in. I need to. The truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through that back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof. So they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. Uh, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box you ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how it could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe use some sort of code? You're the detective, not me. Uh, door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Is there a fire escape? Give me a lift. There's no fire escape. The bite is too high. Are you? Are there any small structures you got? The press. Oh, the um. What was he called? Bo, the rabbit. Well, there. That could work. Start with the press down. Go to McKen Go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know. But yeah. Um. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyways, I was just talking to him if you'd like to be up for it. Remind me about the back door. Okay, so I, I basically just need to get the correct string of, like, information. Um, thanks for your help. I'll go see about, um... Because I feel like if I go through the back door, there's going to be somebody waiting for me. And I don't want to risk that. Is there a guy along here? Ooh. Ooh. I forgot about him. Down we go. Oh, there's another raccoon in the car! Hello. Excuse me. I don't know. I kind of almost wish there was like a thing of like, um, how you're out of someone's line of sight. Who's this? Oh, wait. No, I think he said something like, um, Sid. Feeling peckish? I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match and make your own trail mix. How about it? Oh, sorry. Do you hang around Granville often? Psst, I'm here. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with anything, sir? Need to find a way into the bite. Fancy the fancy jazz bar? I assume you've tried the front door. Got kicked out the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door. I don't really know the place well. Sorry. The original to ask something, go ahead. Um, I'd get kicked out. Gone to an argument that turned into a fight. I'm trying to get back in, sounds terrible. I left my keys inside. Oh, that's quite a pickle. Uh, any other? Which bag is worth? Half a loon! They'll give it to you for a loon, it's a steal. Three for a loon. Just one. Is your name really Sid? Yep, short for Sidwell, but no one calls me that. It's a nice drink to it. Sid Seeds. Well, I now have a bag of seeds. Do I actually have a bag of seeds? 
Yeah, a small bag of cute looking seeds can be eaten. Oh, well, that's nice. I think I already came along. Yeah, this is where I got the ticket from. Let's see. Oh, I get another one. Oh, that might be useful for something else then. Maybe I wasn't meant to give it to him so quickly. Um, let's ask Bo if we can go on his the top of his stand. Back so soon? What now? Uh, don't mind me, just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time it takes in effort to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo, I need this for work. You're working on one of them cases? I don't want to be involved. I, it's not decent. And why in Shepard's name? So Shep, that must be like a... Some kind of religious figurehead in the games. Um... Because it's obviously like one god's name with what we would say. Come on, Bo, I'd help you with the reverse. Now that you mention it, maybe you could help me out with a little issue I've been having. Spill. I need that seed stealing. Seed stealing Pike or Hawker off Granville, can you do that? Is he talking about Sid? I... That feels like a bit of a slur. Uh, I don't know, but that's what I do. Scratch back mine, yours. That's what it's gonna take. Oh, I don't want to! He seemed- he gave me a bag of seeds. Oh. Listen, I have a strange favour to ask. Not quite, I have a strange favour to ask. Could you leave Granville, at least for tonight? I'd rather not. The thing is, Granville's great sales this spot at this time of night. But once you off is Could I double cross the rat? Okay. Here's the thing. If the rabbit or the mouse came back for revenge, I could probably very easily handle a child. However, Bo looks like he could squish me with one fist. Bo wants to, I, mm, that's the problem for future Phoebe. Well, of course he does. He thinks he thinks we're rivals. Screw him. What did he promise you? And when I asked you about the bite, what? I found a way, but Bo won't let me go through until you leave. Right, yo, I have a business position for you. What if you got rid of Bo instead? I'm listening. Because I like Sil a lot more than I like Bo. Bo thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mom and I built this cot with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help the family. Where's this guy? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young, grown up boy doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What is the kicker? Illegal. Hmm. Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. Let him know you know, you know? You think he'll buy it? He'll blink. Anything to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. Let's get this bully of Granville. I will bow to the shepherd for you. Yeah, this shepherd seems to be some kind of, um, religious figure, from what I'm gathering. Let's see if this works. If not, I might just get the snot beaten out of me. Well, you get rid of the parasite? I think you should leave, Bo. Ha, <laughs> what? I've heard a rumor there's a police raid coming up. A raid? I'm a law-abiding citizen! He's selling adult magazines. What? Me? No. Adult? What? No. We both know it's not allowed. That boy, I'll whoop his ass until it's blue. That damn rodent stealing business from me. I'm a hunter salesman. Bo, I will tell the cops if needed. I'm a hard-working rodent business owner. How dare you accuse me? I will not stand for this. Oh, I feel like I picked a bad decision. Should I fetch Downey? No, please, man. This is my only income. I can't lose my kiosk. What are you going to do? Why are you doing this? Go to the police officer. Wait, I'll leave. Asshole, damn you and your kind. Bye. You could, you don't have to. Oh, there's pigeons. Sorry. I do not have any form of focus. I just get distracted. Um. He didn't. Okay, I just want to say. Oh, where's the cursor? Oh, it's gone. I love the pigeons. 
He didn't have to leave, he just had to let me, like, climb a stand. You know? However, I think we're about to get some pretty cool backgrounds. Like, skitty- Oh, there we go! We love a good city skyline. Who's the top dog now? Foxy Burger, suck it. Oh yeah, he mentioned something about that in, like, a bit of text dialogue, where he was like, Oh, I got, like, um... Punched in the face and paid like a bunch of money for a shit burger. Oh, that's nice. What a great view. Guess there are some benefits to risking your life on slick rooftops. You said it. That's. yeah, that's nice. I like that. Wee! Don't mind me, boys. But oh, the pigeons! Hello. Oh, the nesting of event. That's so cute. I love that. I think we're nearly there. Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. There seem. There seems to be a lot of like um. Uh, species um. I don't want to say racism, but like, stuff along that line, that seems to be quite a frequent thing in this game. We're all right, green, after all that, you better be in here, you bastard. Oh! Oh, this is cool looking. I like this. I like this a lot. Um. Well, I feel like since we start this episode in the bite, we're running now back in the bite, I feel like this is a good place to leave it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really enjoying this game. Music's phenomenal. Graphics are great. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. September 22nd. I'm at the